My name is Blaze Goodson from Velma Hamilton Middle School and today I'm going to be talking to you about a serious topic that I don't hear about very often. That being stereotyping. This topic is such a big issue to not just me, but many, many other people around the globe who have been victims of this cruel act. It makes people feel bad about themselves. It puts them down. That pride that they carry, their religion, culture, race, appearance, to then be crushed by a rumor, a lie, fiction. Just because of the way I dress, I'm seen as weird, sad, a failure. Just because of my age, I'm seen as too young to understand the real world and have ideas for issues, or I'm too old to even comprehend and understand the modern day logic and technology. Just because of where I am from, I'm seen as an outcast, somebody who does not belong, go back to where you came from, go back to your country. They're wrong. They're all wrong. Just because the color of my skin is supposed to be perfect, just because the color of my skin, I have to be scared to go out, scared to run into the police, scared to be seen by somebody who wants to spread lies and stereotypes. Just because I'm a man, I'm supposed to be dominant, manly, big, tall, brave, toughen up, be a man. I don't have to be anything you want me to be. Just because I'm a woman, I'm seen as a housewife with my only purpose to clean, cook, marry, give birth, and care for my husband and kids. Just because of my gender, I'm supposed to like one thing more than the other. Just because of my gender, I'm supposed to have a certain job and a certain pay. So what if I'm a man who wears dresses and plays with Barbies? So what if I'm a girl who likes trucks and sports and runs around in tank tops and shortcut hair? What can you do? What can you cause? What can you be? So what if I love this person or that person? So what if I dress up and play with this or that? So what if I have a certain culture or nationality? So what if I'm a certain gender? We all are unique. We all are different. That's what makes us all so special. The fact you want to lump me into completely broad grouping is absurd. Just because I'm Asian, I'm bad at driving. Just because I'm black, I'm a threat to the whites. Just because I'm a Muslim, I'm a terrorist who loves bombing other places. Just because of who I am. I am put into a grouping that tries to define me and other victims, lying to others and making them see us as something we are not. A world without this issue is a world that not just I, but many, many others would want to be in. Picture this. An African-American man can go out and get pulled over by the cops without being scared for his life, without being scared of being racially profiled because of stereotyping and racism. Picture this. A woman can go out dressed however she wants and not get told by men that she deserves whatever's coming to her because she's supposedly a slut for showing skin. Picture this. A man can go out in dresses, skirts, and play with dolls and not be scared of being judged because his gender is supposed to be very manly. Picture this. A world where these lies and stereotypes don't exist. Or we don't judge people and things. Or we don't immediately jump to conclusions where we can actually give people and things chances, where nobody is discriminated against and outcasted because of who we are. These victims can only sit here and take it back to back, being judged and hated. They can't change it, but we can. We can try to crush lies and stereotypes like this. We can't just sit here and take this, allow it to spread. Stereotypes will never leave this world, but we can pause and slow down the spread. So I want you, whenever you hear or see a stereotype, just stop and correct the person. With that, we can slow down the spread and try to put these stereotypes to a halt, creating a better world for us all. Thank you.